Welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to talk about first unique character in a string code problem. So given a string, find the first non-repeating character in it and return its index. If it doesn't exist, return negative 1. So for example, if an input string s is a lead code, so it should return 0 because l is the first non-repeating character. Its index is 0. And uh, another example, if the input string s is log lead code, so we should return 2. Because we see here the first two characters, l and o, so l and o both occur twice in this input string, like a 2 l here, 2 o here. So we should return the third character, that's v. v is the first non-repeating character, and its index is a 2. So return 2 for this input string. So first unique character in a string is a popular coding interview problem, especially during the phone interview during the phone screen. You may encounter this coding problem. So let's take a look at how can we solve this first unique character in a string coding problem. So suppose we have an input string S that's good taker. Our goal is to find the first unique character's position index in this string. So for this simple example, we should quickly notice that the g is the first unique character and its index is 0. So we return 0. How can we derive our algorithm to work well with the other input string? So we can simply introduce a variable to help us count how many times each character has occurred in this string. So we can introduce a array of integers variable. Let's call it as a char counts. So this array of integers, the length would be 26. So why we choose 26? Because there are 26 letters in English. So here, with a length of 26, we can already enough to store the how many times uh, to cover all the letters and store the how many times a uh, character appear in a string. So like here, whenever we in visit a character in this input string, we can increase its, this character's counts in this uh, array of integers. So like here, char counts can increase this character's counts. So character would be char s uh, char at i minus negative a plus plus. So s dot char at a at i like we here would get the g. So g minus a that would be seven. So that um, we use a uh, this uh, number to indicate that the character g and we increase its count to 1. And for other, um, other characters, it works uh, similarly. Like if that's um, just an a, that would be minus a, and we get 0, and 0 would increase the count. So in the end, we can just check which char counts get the s dot char at, at i minus a if that's equal to 1 and the first time we get that we can simply return the i that's an index we need to find if we will not find it so Every character that uh, appear more than once that we can in the end just return negative one as the need code this coding problem indicate. So it's very simple as we introduce a array of integers to help us to count how many times a character occur in this string. So let's go back to the this problem. It's coding in Java to solve this coding problem. So at the beginning 
let's uh, have some edge case check. So if this input string is null, or if this input string dot nones is uh, zero, we should uh, just uh, return negative one. If it because it doesn't exist a long repeating character, return negative one. Then we should introduce this uh, array of integers. We call it char's count, char count. So the length would be 26. And we should uh, iterate this string. So for int i start with a zero, start less than length i plus plus. And we are going to increase whenever we visiting a character, we should uh, increase its a char, its a counts in this uh, array of integers. So char counts uh, s dot char at i minus a should increase. And uh, after we iterate all the character in this input string, we can revisit this char counts. So we can for i start one zero and we can check if the char counts this character. If any of the character, the time of occurrence is equal to one, we can simply return the index. Otherwise, if we are not fine, just ending this for loop and return the negative one at the end. So before we submit, so we can quickly check if there are some typos. So first we have a edge case check, check the input string, whether it's a now or just an empty string. If it is a empty, uh, it's an empty string, just return negative one. And we introduce a array of integers, char counts, with the length of a 26 to help us count the times of occurrence of each character in the string. So first, um, we iterate the characters in this input string and increase, like uh, whenever we visit a character, we increase the counts in this char counts uh, array. And after we put in all the characters counts into char counts, we can revisit re this char counts array. So just uh, for this uh, length of a uh, string again, and check if the char counts any of the character, the times of occurrence equal to one, that means it's not repeating and we should return its index, just i. If not fine, just at the end return negative one. So here, let's click some B. Okay, accept it. So we successfully solve this first unique character in a string coding problem. So as you can see, this coding problem is uh, uh, maybe asked during some complex uh, interviews and it's widely asked during interviews, as uh, I mentioned, especially in the phone screen, in the phone interview. So you should uh, uh, at least practice once for this coding problem. So it's not that uh, hard, so you can find a very straightforward approach to solve this uh, coding problem. And you can use uh, some uh, other than just uh, have an array of integers, you could use uh, also like a map to help store the occurrence of uh, each character. So that's all, all about this uh, coding problem, first unique character in a string. So you might um, also derive your own algorithm to solve this coding problem. So just practice. So that's all. So see you next time. Thanks for subscribing to 
Good Taker channel. So see you next time.